If we got a car for you today, 1957 Chrysler 300C. This is known as the letter car. This is the car uh, Chrysler was winning NASCAR races with. Under the hood is a 392 Cross Ram Hemi making 375 horsepower. They made 484 of these convertibles total that year. How many are left? Not many. There isn't one nicer than this car, I can tell you that. We call this jewelry when it's restored this nice. And you'll see what I mean as we go through the car. Body off frame, nut and bolt, meticulously restored down to every little last detail. Uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about the car and look at all the pictures top to bottom. Uh, that's where you'll find a price tag along with a monthly finance option on every car we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and if you decide you really got to have this car, go to our website and click the Buy It Now button. That will lock it in until you have a chance to talk to the salesman. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this was not a car Chrysler was mass producing, but it was the best they had to offer. This car would compete uh, worldwide with the nicest cars that were being made. Uh, the styling, the performance, the luxury, it's all wrapped up in one package. Uh, compared to a 57 Chevy, I love a 57 Chevy. It doesn't hold a candle to this car as far as the uh, being impressive. I mean, that motor, the leather, the styling, again, amazing. Chrysler was winning NASCAR races in 55, 56, 57 with their letter series car. Matter of fact, they were dominating. So uh, it was body off the frame restored. Every nut, bolt, clip, clamp, everything underneath the car looks like brand new. The floors are nice, clean metal painted like a satin black. The chassis is all clean metal painted more of a, a glossy, semi-gloss black. Uh, and it's detailed. All the suspension, front and back, completely rebuilt. The little wraps around the leaf springs, I mean, cotter pins, you name it, it's done. The steering is all redone. Um, part of the way, uh, what, part of the reason they handled so well is the car was lowered for, in those times, this is a low car. It has some dual parallel torsion bars, which allowed the motor to be dropped down lower. Uh, which meant they could lower the car. They put 14-inch wheels. They were 15-inch the year before. Again, that was to lower the car. The low center of gravity is what made this car handle better than uh, most of the others at that time. So they went to a smaller wheel, which meant a smaller brake. So the brakes had to work harder. So there's actually an air duct in the front, which I'll get to in a second, that cools the front brakes. Uh, the fuel system's completely replaced. Uh, the dual exhaust system has four mufflers, you know, two on each pipe. They did everything so correct. I imagine that's authentic, but I couldn't find anything on that. But it's all really nice exhaust system. Um, <clears throat> everything under there, the brakes, the steering, again, it's all rebuilt. You look up at the bottom of the motor, it's beautiful. Uh, it comes with a torque flight automatic transmission, it is correct. The drive shafts rebuilt as gloss black. The rear end was a part and rebuilt and made real pretty. So show car quality underneath. Again, we're calling this one jewelry. It's not just another restored car. It's, it's over the top. So the body, amazing. Uh, every square inch of it is laser beam straight. You're not going to find a funny area with something showing through or body work showing. There's not a, rim, a ripple, there's not a dent, there's not a bubble. All the way down, all the way along these big sides, the gaps line up beautifully. I mean, the body is absolutely pristine. And this paint job's been on here a while, and it's not shrinking, cracking, popping, doing any of that. They call this the yawning grill. It's like a big mouth taking a big yawn. You got these cool headlights, this is the air intake for the brakes I talked about. So the body is pristine, and I mean that literally. Every square inch of this body is pristine. I have not found 
an imperfection or a flaw to tell you about. They called these big fins, Chrysler called them stabilizers. And apparently they actually work to stabilize uh, the handling of the car. Um, <clears throat> so they are really good looking and they're functional. So anyway, the body's pristine. This is rare parade green it was repainted in. The metal flake is laid out evenly. It's all one color. There's no mismatch, no blending that I could find. And it is polished like glass everywhere. No shrinkage, no cracking, uh, none of that. It's just an absolutely stunning paint with a stunning color. Uh, there is maybe a couple pieces of dust right in this area in the paint that makes a little divot when the light's hitting it a certain way. Um, but it's absolutely a stunning, gorgeous paint job. Every piece of chrome is redone to show quality standards. I mean, all of it, the vent window frame, the little uh, hinge right here, the mirrors, the stainless is buffed and polished like chrome. The bumpers, again, I use the word show quality chrome. It's like a mirror. The grill is all restored, you know, headlight bezels, all of that. The cowl vent here, polished. Power antenna works. All the glass was replaced. I put up the windows, the window frames are re-chromed. All the rubber, all the seals, all replaced. It has the stone shields. I believe that was one of the options. It has uh, nice white wall tires. The hubcaps are in pristine shape. Now, you'll see a lot of these with the wire wheels, and you can order them. You can buy them. This is how they came. The wire wheel was not a factory option. I left these on here because I like the red. It matches the red grills up front and then the red, white, and blue in the emblems. So in this case, I think the hubcaps that are on here look great. Convertible top is a real nice, rich, classy, black canvas, black cloth convertible top. It's a power top. All the top irons are all painted and restored. It's this color. Uh, you can see pictures of all that on the website. So the top is beautiful. Back bumper is real nice. Uh, beautiful chrome, all this stuff here. Reverse lights work. All of this is stunning. Even in here is detailed up real nice. So that's the outside of the car. We're just getting started. I got a lot more to show you inside. All right, we're going to look inside the trunk. It does have a push button that opens it. It's kind of cool. And it is restored beautifully. This is painted as slick as the car. You got the jacking instructions, the insulation pads. The trunk light works. The latch looks like new. Of course, the weather strip is replaced. And it's got the liner kit, the panels on the side. The well liner was replaced. Uh, carpet was all replaced. It's all in excellent shape. Uh, this is spare tire matches the others. It's a white wall, never been used. Uh, it's all restored. You have the jack assembly right here. That's restored, mounted properly. So beautiful trunk compartment, exactly the way it's supposed to be. Remember, they made 484 of these. The jams are painted as slick as the car. Every nut and bolt and latch and sill plate, all of it's just stunning. The door panels, armrests, that aluminum insert, all like brand new as power windows. They work. Now this is the push button transmission and that's the starter button. You push the neutral button to start it. The padded dash is perfectly restored. All the instruments, the bezels, uh, the clock is working. The gauges all work. The mirror, the vents, I mean, look at this. So where do you go and get that? You can restore a Mustang. You just pull out the catalog and order the stuff. Where are you going to get this stuff? Look how nice it's all painted. Now I'm going to tell you a secret. This is converted to FM. There's a CD changer uh, hidden in the car somewhere. I don't even know where it's at. Uh, and the speakers are behind the carpeted kick panel. So you do have a stereo in here. Uh, you can see the carpet's real nice, got the correct heel pad, 
steering wheel is beautiful. It has the red, white, and blue 300 emblem. Now, this is genuine soft leather. Front and back seats are completely upholstered in leather. It's a power seat. It works. Back seat's all leather. Side panels are all redone. Everything in here is just beautiful. Now this is, I keep referring to jewelry, this is what I'm talking about. This is like automotive jewelry. Every single component is restored and looks like brand new. There is a number stamped on the front of the engine that says it is the correct engine for this car. Uh, it has the dual, I think they're Carter carburetors. Uh, these custom, well, not custom, factory air cleaners that are unique for this car. It's a Hemi engine. And everything's in the proper finishes. See the raw fiberglass box uh, and everything that's painted. And uh, you got the washer fluid bag. All the metal is painted beautifully. Correct radiator and clamps and cap. Look at the generator and the tag, how it's restored. Power steering hiding down there. This is an actual reproduction battery, not just a fake top. Uh, all this, look at cadmium plating. Look at the uh, paint OK stamp. There's a few of those throughout the engine compartment. But this is, this is absolutely stunning. Now look at under here. Look at my reflection in the paint. It's like glass even on the bottom of the hood. The rubber seal, the latch. They didn't miss a thing. Gauges are working, oil pressure is good, it's charging, clock works. Now, folks, this car is an amazing investment for a few reasons. One, the cost to restore this car to this condition would be a quarter million dollars all day long, and it would probably take you a year or two to even get it done. Uh, two, we're asking over $100,000 less than one sold for at auction. Um, and three, it's just it's a, a substantial car. You look back in time at the Duesenbergs, the important cars, the Gullwing Mercedes, the cars that just keep going and going in value. Uh, I don't see why this isn't on that level. I mentioned 57 Chevys. Yes, they're awesome cars, uh, but they made how many of them? Uh, I'm sure they'll continue to go up in value, but you want to really have something. A blue chip investment, I think, would be the term they might use. Uh, this, this is an impressive, substantial car restored like jewelry. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions, help you finance it. We can get it delivered to your door. That's all at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube. Click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.